On December the 4th, 1948, taxidermist David Hollander achieved his major goal, to shoot an elephant. In July 1948, he was finally off to Portuguese West Africa to fulfill his dream. With the help of local porters and a Portuguese hunter, he set out on an elephant hunt. Here are some photos from other people's elephant hunts. This is a heavily stylized form of photography where the hunter often poses by his prey, looking into the camera. They want to show who the master of nature really is. The image of Hollander is different. He's not looking into the camera, nor where the bullet hit the elephant. Instead, he's looking at the point on the head where the elephant's scent glands are in order to be able to reproduce this correctly. This was important to him as a taxidermist, hunter and wildlife photographer. The elephant was cut up on location. It took two weeks to boil the carcass down to the bare bones, cut the skin clean and preserve it with four kilograms of fennel and 100 kilograms of salt. In May 1949, he arrived in Gothenburg. Now the hefty task of rebuilding the elephant began in earnest. First, he built a frame made of wooden fabric. He then sculpted a ceramic body which took 300 kilograms of potter's clay. When the sculpture was finished, he made a cast in plaster which was later taken down bit by bit. The skin was processed with saline and cut thinner. Then the skin was stretched and nailed to the body. It's hard to recreate an elephant, not just because they are large, but also because they have no fur. Every joint in the skin is visible and each fold must be modelled. The last touch was to mount the glass eyes and then Hollander could finally take a breather. The opening ceremony was held on March the 28th, 1952, almost four years after his departure to Africa. Almost 6,000 people came to see his masterpiece on the opening night. It is still believed today that his work is unsurpassed. Just two months after the opening, Wolanda had a stroke and his health deteriorated rapidly. Maybe it was all the fennel, arsenic and other poisons he used as a taxidermist. He died in November 1954. Subsequently, none of the paperwork regarding the elephant could ever be found. <laughs>